Star Citizen Alpha 3.18.1 just went live just a few minutes ago, and we're going straight into the patch notes. Um, when it comes to this, this there has been a wipe, as I mentioned in previous videos. So that means they've reset our reputations, our AUEC, as well as any ship components or ships that we may have purchased in the original 3.18 build. What's new about this is that there is 200,000 AUEC that's been um, given to everybody to start off with, which is much better than the usual 5,000 or 25,000 AUEC. So before we move forward, I'd like to go through some of the um, known issues that they have mentioned uh, for this patch note here. It says the game client may close without error or crash handler. ASAP terminals are unusable and fade black when accessed. Delivery objectives withdrawn upon reaching mission location. Um, equipping more than five components in a single save, change, and equip uh, via the VMA transaction will fail. That sucks. Um, when it comes to harvestables, um, harvestable deposits may be invisible to players causing collision or becoming unavailable for scanning and mining or salvage gameplay. Elevators and tramps are jittery during transit of player character. When flying near another ship, ship seems to hit an invisible box that kicks it in random directions. The reclaimer main on elevator control panel do not respond to inputs. Cargo may be invisible in multiple ships after being purchased. When attempting to start a refinery without the player receiving the following error, something went wrong, error code 20. Security contractor evaluation is not really offered upon failure. Combat service beacon progress and rating inconsistent on missions. Security work assessment remaining hostile NPCs not spawning in, that's still an issue. Um, PTV wheels at the Orison BTR arena can clip into geometry and become detached from the vehicle. The snow fighter attached to the constellations lack interaction prompt to enter it, making it unusable. Some ship wreckages erroneously give no material text and do not let you salvage, and markers will randomly disappear after quantum travel with no route set. So those are the known issues with this patch all right up next we're going to go into the features before we get into the features i'd like to let you guys know uh, for those that are new we're doing a giveaway for the month of april this time it's the lti gray cat stv all you got to do to participate in this giveaway is to subscribe and to leave a comment in any video between the month of april all right let's get straight into the features so when it comes to gameplay features it says the initial ship delivery this change we're making affects how you obtain your vehicles when logging into the game for the first time after database reset. Instead of being immediately entitled to your home location in-game, ship pledges on our website will now be available at the ASAP terminals labeled as the level. You can make your ship available at the location for the first time by pressing the deliver button, which functions similar to the standard insurance claim but it's free and only takes about 20 seconds. Once delivered, that ship will be available to customize and to be used. This change will help address the entitlement database spam when new accounts are entering the PU for the first time. This delivery feature will reduce the size of players' default inventory, thus the size of the global database substantially. That is interesting. Up next, it says Arena Commander Customization Temporarily Disabled. We have implemented the improvements to the API that manages ship customization in the Arena Commander and, and are exploring more, which we believe will further alleviate issues with the entitlement. When these changes are being tested, ship customization in Arena Commander will be temporarily disabled for 3.18.1. You will still be able to select ships from your hangar as well as REC rentals, however, we will be providing several vehicle loadout changes in Arena Commander that you can use in the meantime with the upgraded shield generators and weaponry that we've hand selected. This will temporarily update the loadouts of the base Gladius, Arrow and Blade. This change will be temporary and customization will be re-enabled in the following update. The next update will include general fixes that didn't make it in 3.18.1 release 
and or were blocked by issues with persistent entity streaming. Up next is the density manager optimization. Updated density manager values to be more aggressive for removing unneeded entities in the PU to improve the server and client performance. This is really good. And next, they made additional optimization for the loop generation. When it comes to bug fixes, players crashing out or quit using an ASOP terminal should no longer brick and make it unusable. Players should not be able to pick up or interact with repair drops in Arena Commander. Fix an issue causing players to occasionally be unable to exit ship seats. This is really good. Gas clouds should no longer cause a memory leak. That is really good. Fix various issues in Arena Commander where the waiting for player count will fall below zero, which would cause the match to never start. When it comes to the technical updates, it says in 3.18.1, we have made dramatic changes to how the ASOP client and server and global databases handle entities and entitlements which would help both make things like stowing and unstowing of ships more reliable and snappier as well as address many various issues players have been seeing with unstowing characters and many different account errors blocking players from loaded into the pu the 3.18 infrastructure needs are a lot higher than previous game versions Armed with the data of the last few weeks, 3.18, the team has also spent considerable amount of time analyzing and optimizing the cloud footprint of the game, resizing and adjusting the layout of the cluster and regions where the game hosts services. Also, in addition, they have two client crash fixes and two server crash fixes. You guys let me know, are you excited for 3.18.1? Are you going to play it or are you going to wait for 3.18.2? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you on the next video.